Hi, we are from Group Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi gradually becomes a necessity in our daily life. Wi-Fi has played a significant role in keeping us connected at home and in public, no matter how far the distance is. We have come to expect a standard degree of connectivity whenever we go and rely on Wi-Fi for our education, jobs, entertainment, and a lot of things in our life. So today, we would like to share the topic evolution of Wi-Fi with you. So, what is Wi-Fi? Wireless Fidelity, often known as Wi-Fi, is a technology of getting broadband internet to a device using wireless transmitter and radio signal. Once the transmitter receives data from the internet, it converts the data into a radio signal that can be received and read by Wi-Fi enabled devices. Information is then exchanged between the transmitter and the device. Now, we are going to explain the evolution of Wi-Fi. In 1997, the first version of 802.11 protocol was created by the IEEE. However, it only supported a maximum network bandwidth of 2 Mbps, which is too slow for most of the applications. In 1999, 802.11b was released by IEEE. It worked in 2.4 GHz frequency and supported bandwidth up to 11 Mbps. It was commercially cheap at that time, but it has the slowest maximum speed in the standard. Another major drawback was 802.11b devices can have interference from microwave ovens, cordless phones, and other appliances using the same 2.4 GHz range. At the same year, 802.11a was also released. It operated in 5 GHz frequency and offered multiple advantages including the elimination of interference caused by other devices. Besides, it also offered an incremented bandwidth providing connectivity speed at around 54 Mbps. In 2003, a new standard called 802.11g was created. 802.11g attempted to combine the best of both 802.11a and 802.11b. 802.11g supported bandwidth up to 54 megabits per second, and it uses the 2.4 gigahertz frequency for greater range. The only drawback it faced was that it went back in the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum, again giving rise to concerns on interferences. In 2009, it was the new era where smartphones were introduced, and it started to push the need for a faster and more efficient wireless internet. Therefore, 802.11n were released. Using multiple input multiple output technology, this standard offered a fantastic speed of 300 megabits per second. It operated in both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz spectrums and allowed users to enjoy more data transmission power without requiring higher bandwidth. In 2014, n 2.11 NC was introduced. It utilized dual band wireless technology, supporting simultaneous connections on both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi Fi bands. 802.11 AC offered bandwidth rated up to 1300 Mbps on 5 GHz band, plus up to 450 Mbps on 2.4 GHz band. The latest and fastest standard is based on 802.11 AX, which was published in September 2019, but devices sold today are still mostly based on 802.11 AC standard. The biggest improvement of 802.11ax is its ability to accommodate multiple client devices simultaneously. This is done using a tokenal frequency division multiple access or FDMA digital modulation technology. Or FDMA chops out each Wi-Fi channel into hundreds of smaller subchannels, each with a slightly different frequency. The signals are then turned orthogonally so that they can be stacked on top of each other and demultiplex. With OFDMA, a single channel can accommodate as many as 30 clients. At auto 11 ax routers can combine transmission and send data to multiple devices simultaneously. Compared to most at auto 11 ac routers, which can only send data to a single device at any one time, you can see that at auto 11 ax routers are going to be a lot more efficient. At auto 11 ax works in the 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz spectrums and supports up to 160 MHz channels, giving each at auto 11 ax stream a maximum theoretical bandwidth of 3.5 gigabits per second. 802.11ax routers that support up to 4 streams could therefore provide a maximum theoretical bandwidth of up to 14 gigabits per second. 802.11ax improves the coordination of transmitting data between the router and several devices wirelessly connected to it. It is meant to accommodate the growing use of internet connected devices such as AI assistants, cameras, lights, speakers, thermostat, and etc. That's all from Group Wi-Fi. Thanks for watching and we hope this video may help you to have a better understanding of evolution of Wi-Fi.